One of the things that we strive to do is to make sure that we provide for the animal health and welfare. We want to make sure that the animals, number one, arrive healthy and they remain healthy while they're here. We have a full-time veterinarian on staff who puts together vaccination protocols and treatment protocols to make sure, one, that animals don't get sick, but if they do get sick, that we treat them with the proper medications in the proper location with the proper withdrawal times to make sure that we produce a safe product in the end. Our herd health program is uh, fairly simple but yet sophisticated and our philosophy here is basically to prevent rather than treat. So we look at everything. If there's something we can do to prevent the problem, we want to do that. So we have strict protocols in place on everything. I think that is the whole key is having some good protocols in place that's going to help you down the road and prevent any problems that you may have. Herd health is critical to the success of the dairy. If the cattle aren't healthy, filling well, they're not going to produce to their ultimate potential. So it's very critical if I want to be successful as a dairy farmer, I have to have a herd of cows that are in good health here. Taking care of our animals really is the essence of what we do as cattle producers. Um, our, our livelihood and our legacy um, all depends on, on having healthy animals. Prevention, we think, is the best medicine, and that's why we employ a strong vaccination protocol overseen by our local veterinarian and other animal health professionals who are really the experts in this field. Disease prevention, uh, good nutrition, uh, keeping my feed yard clean, those are all ways that I can keep my cattle healthy. Uh, and, and a lot of it is just a question of uh, doing my homework before the cattle even get to me and continuing to do my homework uh, once they're there. Uh, my cowboy Rich rides pens every day. Uh, normally we ride pens in the morning and then I've talked about having a personal responsibility toward the animals that are under my care. And I think it would be wrong for me to know that one of my animals was sick and not do anything about it. I think part of my God-given responsibility in my feed yard is to care for the animals that I have.